Alrighty. Time to open new cards. I love it. Beast, no, you're last by the same order token shipped yesterday. It's a big one. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Josh, that was a really fun way to approach it. Thank you. Yeah, it was. I love Eagles. That's the first time I've played like a full Eagle deck. I've played Eagles before, but not like in a. I don't know, organized manner like that. I would play the Eagles because it had four defense for an ally before I got defender. So nice. You're excited. This is a solid pack. I'm pumped. I love new cards. <laughs> I really like the like deluxe boxes and the um, like the saga expansions. Those are really really cool. I, I enjoy that. One of my favorite things about the cycles is having a pack to open like every week. It's just a lot of fun. Alrighty, here we are. Oh, this is gonna be an impot. Oh, he's back! Dang it! Why is he back? <laughs> This is going to be a tough one. Oh my goodness. There's four quest stages. The art on that pack is cool. Yeah, dude. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe he's back. Alrighty. We got Mablong. 2224. Really like the stat line here. 10 threats, hero, tactics, hero. Really all around great stat line. I'm thinking like Bearavir. Yeah, Bearavir is kind of the uh, same stat line. After you engage an enemy, add one resource to his res. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Wow. That seems good. That seems really good. Seems really good. I mean, just like in a Trisphere deck, right? Like. This is cutting off an entire turn of ramp, which is really strong. Plus the flexible stat line. I like that a lot. I am a big fan of this. Also a Gondor traded so you can get all of the cool Gondor stuff. You can pump him up to a four defense with a four health. And so he's, I like that. That is, he's really solid and it's once per phase. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So you can, you can run the allies that engage. I know Knight of Minas Tirith engages. There's the card that like engages everybody in play. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can ramp quick. That's pretty fun. That's really fun. Wow. Cool. Cool. Yeah. We got follow me. Take control of the first player token and draw one card. It's a great solo. I guess it's one for one card. <laughs> Tighten our belts. Refresh action. Choose a player. Each hero that player controls that did not spend any resources this round gains one resource. Only one copy of Tighten our belts. Ooh. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. So choose a player. Each hero that player controls that did not spend any resources this round gains one resource. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Huh. Okay. 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 So. Yeah, that's really good. That's really, really good. Especially like early game. If you're ramping with a tri-sphere deck. So a lot of times you don't play anything turn one. Um, or, Ooh, this is actually a cool interaction with Baragond as well, where lower the cost of the armor and weapon attachment so he's not actually spending the resources play them and then i mean this is three resources which that means turn two you have three money for each sphere that's insane that's really cool you kind of have to build around it and like it, it's nice to have in your opening hand but like huh i like that i like that a lot that's really cool Hey, more Sylvans. I like that. Two cost Sylvan is that's a really cool art. I really, really like that art. Zero two zero ranged after she enters play, deal one damage to an enemy, not engaged with that's freaking awesome. That's amazing. That's amazing. A two cost ally with a Sylvan, so you're popping back and forth, you're doing all of this like craziness where you're pulling them back. Yeah, that's uh that's solid. That's very, 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 very good. Wow. Cool. 
Big fan. Also, you play her, deal a damage. If you have Kelleborn on the table, then she's like a three attack. So she can swing for three. And then at, for that first round, and then you can pop her back into your hand, deal more damage. But, I mean, just like a two for three. Two for three plus one damage with something in the staging area. That seems good. I like that. I like her. Bow of the Galadrium. Attached to a Sylvan character with a ranged keyword. Restricted. Plus one or plus two if attacking an enemy not engaged with you. Eh, yeah. Hello, Haldir. 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 Hello, Haldir. I'm missing something. Sorry, Josh. Haldir is... Ranged. If you have not engaged an enemy this round, exhaust Haldir to declare him as an attacker to an enemy not engaged with you. Sick. Sick. Yes. 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 So, okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so, if you have not engaged an enemy this round, then you can uh, exhaust Haldir to attack with plus two. So, he's attacking for five in the staging area. That's really cool. That's really, really, really fun. I like that a lot. That's going to be fun to play. That's going to be really fun to play. Sweet. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got the Keladun Traveler. This is a Dale Scout 32012. Secrecy 2. Nice. It feels like they always give you like great cards to play in the pack that, that comes after the quest that they'd be really good oh you have a meeting alrighty see you around hope you have fun <laughs> after he enters play look at the top card in counter deck if it's a location you can discard it oh that's cool that's cool three for two is also just really solid island and perils return a sylvan ally you control to your hand to reduce your threat by x where x is the printed cost of the ally returned i am so freaking excited for sylvans these are so these are such cool cards. Such cool cards. Such a cool gameplay. That's so freaking sweet. Because now, like, we have cards that Olorian, I believe. And then there's one in leadership. So you're you're pulling all these Sylvan allies. They play. They have like when entering play abilities. Kelleborn increases all their stats whenever they do enter play. Oh my gosh, I need to play them. I need to play them. We got a two cost. I always like two cost lore ally. One willpower zero zero two. You can give Mirkwood Prisoner Doomed One when you play it from your hand. If you do, it gains after you play Mirkwood Pioneer, choose a card in the staging area, and it does not contribute its threat. Could interesting. Situationally good. We got Wing Foot attached to a Ranger Hero. Oops. After the attached hero commits to a quest, name an enemy, location, or treachery. If the card of the name type is revealed during the quest phase, exhaust Wingfoot to ready the attached hero. That's pretty sweet. That's really, really cool. Really interesting. Especially when, like, like you can combo it with here. So after it enters play, look at the top card of the encounter deck. There are other cards that look at the top card of the encounter deck. That could be, like, a really cool interaction to, you know, it's the, the cheap unexpected courage. It's also in lore. And so you don't have to run spirits. In order to run Wingfoot, and you can take a look at that top. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then we got Defender of the West. This is a title attached to a non objective unique ally in play. Very specific. First player gains control of the attached ally. Damage from undefended attacks against you may be assigned to the attached ally. Um, okay. Seems, oops, seems very situational. I'm not quite sure if that is. Something that I am. I don't know. I don't know. It seems kind of just weird. But. Really interesting pack. I really like this. I'm so excited for this Sylvan stuff. Um, I may play Sylvan's next time. But as Josh was saying. Sylvan's after the after our next open pack. May be the, the way to go. And so. The Sylvan's there. I am. Uh. I'm excited for that. That's going to be fun. Cool. 
Alrighty, okay, so we have not been streaming for that long. We've been about an hour 15, so what I think I'm going to do is we're going to break out some ashes. We're going to break out some ashes, and we will play some ashes. So I'm going to go to the Be Right Back screen, and then we will uh, we'll get a game of ashes in. So that was much faster than Hulk. Oh my gosh, Hulk is, Hulk is something. I am... Yes. That, yes. <laughs> Hulk... Hulk was around. Alrighty, I'm gonna go to the B right back screen. We'll set up some ashes. I'll see you soon.